Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I showed how to fit various isotherm and kinetic models using Origin Pro and MS Excel Solver. These videos have been very popular. So, in this video, I would like to show you how to fit SIPS isotherm model using Microsoft Excel Solver. Well, SIPS isotherm can be written as Q equal to QM KC to the power N divided by 1 plus KC to the power N. This is a typical three parameters model where Q is the amount adsorbed at equilibrium, QM is the maximum adsorption capacity, K is the SIPS isotherm model constant, C is the equilibrium concentration and N is the SIPS model exponential. Well, in order to fit, I have taken data for C and QV. Initially, you need to put fitting constants uh, you need to put some value for fitting constant Q, M, K and then you need to write this function here and then equal to put the function here and you need to put dollar because Q, M, K and N are constant. So we put these three values you need to put dollar. So after writing this, just click enter, then scroll down this. Then you need to calculate residual, which is equal to just B2 minus C2. Then click enter and then scroll down, scroll down this then you need to calculate residual square that is e square just click enter and scroll down this well then you need to calculate sum of residual square ssr which is done by just equal to sum bracket select this and bracket close then enter then our target cell is this and then go to data so see here is your solver then click on solver then our target cell is this and then equal to set mi minimum then click here and set this three value click here then click on solve then keep solver solution click ok so here is your SIPS isotherm model non-linear fitting and these are the parameters QM, K and N then you need to calculate R square well in order to calculate R square you need to find out QE average exponential. I have done so. Just write equal to average bracket, then select this, then bracket close and enter. Then you also need to calculate average QE model. Just write equal to average bracket close, then select this and bracket close. Then you need to calculate average of some of residual square just I have done so B16 minus C16 square then click enter and finally R square equal to 1 minus A SSR divided by SSR which I have been done 1 minus this divided by this then click enter so this is how you can easily fit SIPS isotherm model using Microsoft Excel solver. 
that's for today if you would like to get similar type of video please do subscribe aminul camp innovation thanks for your kind attention Thank mm -hmm. you.